All right, guys. So the next stock that we're breaking down this morning is Ethereum, the cryptocurrency. I just did Dogecoin. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check that out. So let's go ahead and dive in. I told you guys with this smooth retracement upwards that we had, that we would have the same exact thing happen on the opposite side. We would have a smooth retracement back down, okay? We're not quite there just yet, but around the $2,500 level for uh, my opinion would be the best ideal entry. This was our last uh, tested uh, level of support, and we could look left. We can see that we had resistance here and resistance here. And on the opposite side, you can see this is where we initially bounced all the way up over here, okay? So this was our last uh, heavily tested area before up here. Uh, I told you guys that we really wouldn't be holding this area. This was where I did my last update. I said that we would need more, probably more than a 50% retracement for this one because of how overextended this was. This was up like 17 candlesticks, which is ridiculous. It's it's crazy. And the reason why it, <coughs> it did that initially was <coughs> because I'm sorry. I'm still sick um that there's no there's no prior price action history or no candlesticks to work as resistance over here so this was freely just to be uh was able to, to pump up all the way up to where it was at until it created this double top and started pulling back all right so yes the uh two thousand five hundred dollar level is our level of major support so that could be our next ideal entry at two thousand five hundred dollar level so we're only a hundred uh points away from that i'm sure that we'll reach that sometime or some point today and then we'll see if we can actually bounce from that level and start creating a reversal so if we break below that we need to have at least a mental stop loss so at the $2,400 level or maybe the $2,300 level, that could be a mental stop loss that you could have. So if we do break below that, we'll know to get out and wait for a better entry. And if we do break below that, then uh, I'll do an updated video and uh, give you an idea on exactly where we could be heading next. <coughs> So uh, we are currently down 14%. Um, our, so if we do bounce off from th this major support line, you guys, <coughs> and what we have our entries here, our first target would actually be all the way back up here at the $3,500 level since there are no <coughs> previous pivots um, in this general channel. So it would be all the way back up here. So that would be, uh, obviously if you're, you're gonna be day trading, it's gonna be different, but if you're swing trading or core trading, uh, your entry would be around the $2,500 level and then your target would be the $3,500 level. So these are two ideal areas that you guys could uh, get in. I'm sorry, this is only one. Uh, the second one, I don't really have an ideal entry because we haven't tested this support yet. So uh, the second one would be just to wait and see if we can hold on this major support line. Um, and if we don't, then obviously your second opportunity would probably be at the $2,100 level, that being our other level of uh, major support. And that is clearly tested. You can see over here, over here, and even back over here. So just wanted to make this video really uh, quite short and simple. If I uh, was able to explain this in any type of way that was helpful to you, please hit that like and subscribe button. It allows me to create this content for you guys Monday through Friday. But other than that, you guys, safe trading, uh, safe trading and uh, uh, be happy, you guys, and uh, have a beautiful day.